What's going on everybody, LK here, back at it again with another video, and today some more Dragon Ball Fighters for y'all. So today, uh, we're going to take a little break from that uh, long 7x7, it is long, part 2 will be coming pretty soon. Today I wanted to talk about anchors one more time, I wanted to talk about perspective that people are kind of missing on their anchor pick. Uh, especially like in stream a lot of people always come in saying they've got their point in mid basically figured out but they have really hard problems picking an anchor so i'm going to try to give the most complete and probably final take i have on anchors in this game for season three if you do like the content i'm putting out i encourage you to like this video or subscribe to the channel if you already have not or do both it only takes a second and does help the channel grow thank you so much okay so the first question we need to actually answer before we talk about anchors at all is why is it so much easier to pick a first and second character than a last character and there's a couple of reasons for this so one a lot of the characters do have the same base, so you can play them point. The majority of the characters in the game can be played on point. There are very, very few characters that you look at and you're like, I can't play this character first. So I just sat and thought about this. For you, it's instance. For me, I have been sitting here for five minutes and literally the only two characters I can think of that I would never even want to try playing as a point character would be like Yamcha and Goku Black, probably. Besides that, pretty much every other character in the game can be played in the first position. So if you forgot about mids, your mid is either another point character that has a good assist, so characters like Team Gohan kind of fall into this lane, or characters that are good, have strong game plans, but get more for having more meter, so you want them to be in a little bit later. These are characters like, say, Trunks is a perfect example of this. So then last we have anchors then. So most people's perspective on anchors are that, okay, they're my last character, they're my comeback character, I'm saving my sparking for this character, etc. But like, let's actually take a really, really detailed look one more time on what anchors should be like. So when most people are picking their anchor character, they are thinking about saving their sparking for that character and that is basically it. Usually characters that are pretty mobile or have good neutral feel pretty good to play in this slot and that's what people really like to do. However, at high level, there is a few factors that we like to take into consideration for picking that last character. So of course one is the type of assist, so things like SSJ Vegeta, I have SSJ Goku here, I have Z Broly here, so it, it your anchor character is going to unquestionably have a good support assist to support both your point and mid characters. If they don't do at least this, they should not be in that slot. So one of the things about this actually came up when uh, SJ Goku started coming up in Season 1 and Season 2, where people were like, especially in Season 1, they were like, well, you know, he has no mix-up, blah, 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 he's not that great, the beam is good, but he's not that great. Uh, and then over time, I started to realize that, honestly, when you have an, an assist like that and a character like that, your first priority, honestly, is that you shouldn't actually aim to play your anchor character at a base, if possible. Uh, there, are, there are examples I'll discuss later, uh, but there is a type of anchor like SSJ Vegeta, SSJ Goku, uh, who it, they are just there to support. And if you play your game the right way, they should never actually play. Like the only time they should be on the screen is when you're calling them. I really like simplifying this to either they are really good at running away and not getting hit or really good at either getting in or hitting you when they get in. SJ Goku, SJ Vegeta are definitely the poster boys for this. SJ Vegeta has the godlike key blast, the air DP, good ground key blast, air mobility. SJ Goku, great key blast as well, ground, great ground key blast. Beam to kind of fight other people's key blasts, multiple key blasts. And we've both seen many, many, many examples of these characters coming back despite not being so good at mix-ups alone. They basically, their only option is to use system mechanics like Dragon Rush, same size Super Dash, or hit you in neutral and convert into a combo. Then we have characters that can definitely hit you. So we've seen this many times uh, since basically season one. 
Yamcha is the poster boy for this. He has Wolfang Fist. He can get in with it. He can cross you up with it. He has his own ways of doing solo cross ups with, uh, you know, its own amount of risk. Like he can fake cross ups. He can just IED over you. He does have a really good sparking if it comes down to it. Now he benefits from the system as well. So everything he does when he's alone does more damage. And then there are characters who are good at both. So characters like base Goku and Broly, they are both hard to hit and they're good at hitting you. Uh, they both have really good key blasts and good screen control. They both have command grabs as well for when they're right next to you. So when you look at it from this perspective, there are not that many anchor characters in the game where you're like, these characters have good support assists and they follow one of these three main things they're hard to hit can hit you or can do both in an effective manner so there's one last point uh i'd also like you to consider and this has come up more starting like season two or something so here i have broly android 21 in the anchor slots why there's a certain type of flexibility a character can have where uh you don't want to always think of your team as like oh this is my point character this is my middle character this is my anchor and what i mean is like yeah that's the order you're picking the characters and it mostly matters for what happens in your initial three versus three battle so when the game starts so when the game starts it's base vegeta versus kid Buu. but then gt comes in trunks is fine versus gt but it probably would be better for me to play broly against gt why because gt doesn't have a key blast so all he could do is beam for projectiles or use like Rasengan to get in or use tackle to get in or something so while trunks is fine against this uh broly is way 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 better against this because he has the godly key blast good screen control gt has to jump around he can grab him out the air right but broly is supposed to be my anchor but just because he's supposed to be my anchor doesn't mean I don't have a reason to bring him in. So this is a type of flexibility that can exist for some characters. There are a bunch of characters in this game where, uh, as I said before, there are a lot of points and mids, and there are a few characters where like these are anchors, but there are other characters who can play multiple roles or even every role just fine. In my opinion, Android 21 is one of these characters. So she has a good level three, she has a command grab, she's hard to hit, she's good at controlling the screen, she's very mobile, she has big normal, so she kind of does both. Most people play her as a second character or point, but she is also a valid anchor as well. And just because she's in that last slot doesn't mean that while you're playing the game, there's not a reason for you to bring her in and kind of like cycle your order. Okay, hopefully that made sense. This kind of came from a lot of people coming from YouTube to the stream asking about anchors and who they should play last a lot. Like I said, it is pretty easy to figure out who you want to play initially for your point and middle. And I think people are like really hyper focused on the order and not like just the job each character is supposed to do. As usual, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Like and subscribe if you feel like it and I'll see you next time. Peace out.